Welcome to Let's Fix It Right. In this episode, I'll show you how to easily replace the cartridge and brass retainer nut in your Fister single handle kitchen faucet for free. As an outstanding manufacturer, Fister provides a limited lifetime warranty for this faucet and its components on the left if you have a proof of purchase. This Fister faucet model may not be the same as yours. However, the process I'm using should work for changing your kitchen pull down faucet cartridge also. In this effort, we'll replace the Fister 25mm cartridge subassembly and its brass retainer nut that Fister provided to me for free under their warranty. For more information on this warranty, go to this Fister website or contact Fister at this number. If you don't have a proof of purchase, you can purchase these two components by going to my description below, selecting Show More, and clicking on the two links that I have provided. These are the tools you'll need. They are a 10 inch crescent wrench or large set of channel lock pliers, a set of vice grips, Phillips screwdriver, and a 332nd Allen head wrench. Step one is go below your sink and turn off the hot and cold water. After ensuring that you don't have any water pressure, drain the water that is left in the faucet unit. Using the 332nd Allen head wrench, loosen the set screw at the base of the faucet handle and be careful not to drop the set screw into the sink and permanently lose it in the garbage disposal. In fact, you may want to cover the garbage disposal opening so this can't happen. Remove the faucet handle and set screw and place them to the side. Unscrew the stainless steel sleeve that covers a brass fitting and remove the Phillips screw handle lug that goes into the back side of the cartridge. This is the lug that holds the faucet handle in place when you tighten the set screw. Next, we'll carefully remove the brass retainer nut with a 10 inch crescent wrench. And, and lastly, we'll remove the cartridge itself. As you can see, the gasket from the old cartridge stayed in place, so we'll need to remove it also. This is the gasket that fits here in these grooves on the cartridge. I'll place the old cartridge over here out of the way. These two upper eyelets align with these two holes in the upper section of the cartridge cavity and these two plastic prongs go into these two holes in the lower portion of the cartridge cavity. With the two plastic prongs oriented to the bottom, we'll now insert the cartridge into the cartridge cavity. We'll now slightly rotate the cartridge back and forth until we are absolutely certain that we have the plastic prongs seated into the holes in the cartridge cavity. Next, we'll carefully screw the new threaded brass retainer nut into place and ensure that we don't cross its threads. And tighten it with the crescent wrench. Be careful with this so you don't strip the threads. We'll then screw the lug with a Phillips screw head into the back side of the cartridge. Next, we'll screw on the stainless steel sleeve. To get the Phillips screw lug to seat all the way into the cartridge, I had to use my vice grips. The lug is made out of a very hard plastic material and I couldn't apply enough force with the Phillips screwdriver to completely seat it. It's now seated all the way forward. It's important to seat it like this so the handle will go all the way on. 
If you don't do this, you'll have a large gap here on the faucet. We'll then tighten it up with a 332nd Allen head wrench. Okay, so we now have the handle installed properly and the water is turned on. So let's see if it works. As you can see, it works great. We have a successful installation. This concludes this episode where I showed you how to easily replace the cartridge in your Fister single handle kitchen faucet for free. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and select the YouTube bell so YouTube will notify you of all my new projects immediately after I publish them. At this time, I'm moving on to my next project. You're more than welcome to follow. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. All of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it.